Hello guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and welcome to another exciting tutorial and today ha 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 should be very exciting because I'm gonna be teaching you how to do the green screen effect using a third party plugin called Primate Keyer. Now I already made a tutorial on how to green screen using the key light which is you can find it here fact um, keying uh, key light which is just a plugin for After Effects for keying it will do very perfect uh, keying but in uh, this third party plugin you got a very very awesome um, result with a very easy step but the uh, bad thing of course you have to buy it <laughs> don't get cheap here alright so um, this is the result as you can see here um, it's her sitting on the you know um, airplane just waiting for her um, destination and this is the real one just sitting in front of the green screen. All right. So how to uh, use Primate Keyer to um, make this green screen disappear? So the thing you gonna want to do, of course, you're gonna click the footage and go to Effect um, Primate Primate Keyer. Now remember, don't be retarded and ask me, Hey, how can I find Primate Primate Keyer? I don't get that. <laughs> Like I said before, it's a third-party plugin. You have to buy it first and install it. So you have these, all right? So stop asking me. <laughs> Primate, Primate Keyer, click that. And then you're gonna go down here. Select background and you're gonna just basically select the background, which is the green screen over here. Boom, it's gone. And then you're gonna change the composition to matte and clean background. You're gonna clean the background. And the great thing about this Primate Keyer, even though you have a worse light lighting in the for the um, green screen it still can do a nice green screen effect and a little bit over here blah 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 all you gotta do is like you know just left click and hold it and blah 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 and there you go it's already real nice so you can see here is a little bit oh yeah uh, by the way when you change it to matte it means uh, the black area is for the green screen area which is we're gonna um, delay it and the white area is the video or the foreground or your object so make sure your object is clearly white and the background is clearly black so as you can see here is some kind of gray thingy in the object uh, what you can do is go to selection here selection and a clean foreground and you're gonna just left click it so easy and it's gone looks clean now whoo so easy beat that <laughs> uh, um, alright so looks perfect now and then we're gonna change it again from matte to comp and uh, let's see we're gonna have some greenish on the um, ooh, surrounding the image not so good so what we can do here is go down and spill sponge here we get a spill sponge and basically just again left click and go to where you think is green and you don't want it there you go the green is kind of uh, um, disappear a little bit here and then you're gonna you're gonna want it to defocus matte here I'm just gonna change it to 3 Basically, this this just create a feather, um, just just gonna you know, feathering the um, object, looking nice. And then we're gonna shrink, shrink matte a little bit maybe, so the green is gone. Let's see. It should do. All right. So as you can see here, it's already perfect. All right now. Um, we're gonna add the background. I already have the background here. We're gonna turn it just like so. Turn it down a little bit. Maybe make it bigger. Like so. Alright, so um, she's sitting in the um, airplane here. Alright, so um, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna match the background with the foreground. So in um, key light, if you're using key light, you c can have a light warp. Light wrap. So what? light wrap uh, uh, for is uh, for example if you have a background that have some harsh uh, sun uh, harsh light just like this one um, the logic is the foreground should have some glowy edge you know 
blue edge thingy in the foreground so to do that in if you are using just a regular um, uh, keying such as key light you can go to key correct and light wrap it should do the same but in a uh, red giant primate keyer all you gotta do is go back to the primate primate keyer and go to down here to composite controls and then you can see background layer set the none to your um, background which is the aircraft seat right here and then uh, red giant career automatic uh, gear automatically um, realize that this is the, the the background and then if you go to here spill killer we're gonna enable it and change it to green because I use a green screen and the color matcher as you can see here if you watch this this is cool um, as you can see here the uh, my footage is less saturated and um, the color is not matching you know the world color on the background and then if you enable this color matcher as you can see um, primate gear is uh, picking uh, some of the color on the background to the foreground so the foreground it looks like just taking with the same camera and the same settings just like the background taken so it it it's really cool <laughs> all right so just set the strength to 50 already good and then the light wrap um, I use this because um, as you can see here the background has some harsh light so it should have some glowy edges for the fake for the foreground so all you're gonna do is enable the light wrap and then the width set it about ooh, not too much about 20 ooh, maybe 15 or so and then the brightness set us up just like so so as you see if we zoom in we got some glowy edges like so also the glow is picking up uh, the color from the background so if you have this as you can see here's glowy with some little bit color from the background so it's, it looks cool all right so that is basically how to use the red giant primate keyer for uh, my footage here i hope you find this useful if you don't have primate keyer don't be sad you can also use uh, uh, key light which is also very awesome and uh, I already made a tutorial and I'm gonna put the link in the description below all right so um, for this is the result of my uh, uh, for this video I'm just gonna I'm just at this you know thingy here so she looks like she's sitting on uh, the plane and then um, this is the before I just duplicate the layer and add some shadow by masking <coughs> Um, the same video and then another and a little bit darker here so it matched the light and shadow for the background and then I'll, I also add some fake uh, light here using optical flares for video copilot from video copilot so it looks more realistic so there you go Alright guys, so my name is Star from Tar Arts Movie. I hope you find this useful and I'm gonna be giving you free, you know what, a free green screen footage that I made. Um, it's like us. <laughs> uh, well, you will know after you uh, see it. And uh, I hope you can, you know, do some green screen effect in your After Effects after you watch this tutorial, especially if you have the um, uh, primate keyer or if you do not have a primate keyer, you can watch the tutorial again in my description I'm gonna put the link in the description for the uh, using the key light for the keying or chroma keying effect and uh, I'm gonna giving you also in the description a free footage a green screen, green screen footage and hopefully you can uh, do something with it and post a video response showing you um, that you already <laughs> can do a, a chroma keying Alright guys, so my name is Star from Star Arts Movie. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Why? Because that's the only thing you can do now. Um, uh, you can add me as friend anymore. Uh, because YouTube has delayed this, that function. But uh, surprisingly, lots of people uh, still add me as contact. And I don't know how to do that. So please tell me. <laughs> Make a tutorial about it. Alright, so um, yeah. Goodbye. And see you in the next cool videos and tutorial. Ciao.